A Sea of Thieves role-playing game is a tabletop adventure where you can guide two to six of your friends on an adventurous voyage of swashbuckling and seafaring across the Sea of Thieves. Akin to games like Dungeons and Dragons, you can use the theater of the mind to guide your adventures and have a shared story and world with your friends. In order to get started, all you have to do is open the box. The first thing you'll notice when you open the box is a redeemable code for the Lord Guardian sales, the sales of a would-be pirate king. I feel a little bit personally attacked by this, but let's move on. The code for these sales can only be found within the Sea of Thieves role-playing games, so you'll want to make sure to grab a copy for yourself. Once you dive a little deeper into the box, you'll notice the most important part of any tabletop game, and that's the dice. The dice in this game are really cool. They're standard six-sided D6 dice, uh, but they are not numerical dice. They each have their own symbols carved into them in a nice red color. The, the dice themselves are a bone color, and it kind of gives you that feeling of casting bone. So it's really cool. In terms of makeup and weight, uh, they are pointed corner dice, and they are similar weight and size to a Chessex D6, if you're familiar with that brand. After you're done ogling the dice, you'll notice that there are also cards in this tabletop game. Many tabletop games do not rely on cards, but in this case, we have a nice assortment of card decks for different purposes within the game. I have not played the game yet, so I don't know how all of these cards work, so you'll have to bear with me here as I explain a little bit about these cards. The first and largest deck you might notice is a deck of what appears to be loot. We have various gold hoarders chests, merchant crates, Order of Soul Skulls, various different loots that you might recognize if you've played Sea of Thieves. Moving on to the smaller decks of cards, you'll notice we have two sets of personalities, a good and a bad personality for, for lack of a better term, uh, various personality traits, as well as a deck of weapon cards containing four different types of weapons, the pistol, the eye of the reach, the blunderbuss, and the cutlass, all of which you should be familiar with if you play Sea of Thieves. As we search deeper into the set, we'll also notice a set of perforated tokens. Uh, these tokens seem to be currency and supplies. There are gold tokens, and then there are things like bananas, wood, cannibals, things you would expect to find on your ship in the Sea of Thieves. Many tabletop games don't use tokens like this, but in this case, we do have a nice set of tokens that are, again, perforated for you to punch out of the cardstock. Along with the tokens, we have six player mats. These seem to be dry erase player mats uh, with inventories, weapons, supplies, gold, in the hold, dice, personality, name, and a, even a spot for notes. This is a very nice uh, mat that you can use to keep track of all of your character traits, all of your supplies, all of your whatever you have within the game. Uh, it's a nice touch, and I really actually like the way these look. Moving along, as you dig further into the set, you're going to find an enormous map. And when I say enormous, this is just a, a monstrous map. It is huge. You could hang it on your wall as a painting. The squares seem to be about one inch by one inch. It has all 26 by 26 squares that are on the Sea of Thieves map, on your map table within the game. Uh, it, it includes the Devil's Roar, but it does not include the Shores of Gold. Uh, but nonetheless, it is a beautiful map. It is awesome. It has all of the places you might recognize from the Sea of Thieves, and it's really going to be cool in order to keep track of your crew and your voyage and to kind of enhance the theater of the mind. Last but not least, contained within the Sea of Thieves role-playing box set, we have three books. We have the Book of Lore, the Book of Pirates, and the Book of Voyages. The Book of Lore and the Book of Voyages serve as more of a guide for the Game Master in terms of creating the world, creating the lore. The Book of Voyages contains one campaign or four voyages that the Game Master can use to guide players on an adventure. The Book of Pirates is going to serve as more of a player handbook, giving you the rules of the world, but it also contains a starter voyage, which you can use to get started. So in total, you have five voyages to get you going in the Sea of Thieves. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Make sure to leave a comment, like the video, hit the subscribe button, come back and check out the review of the full game once I get a chance to play it. If you end up grabbing the game yourself, go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think about it. All right, see you next time.